In this video, we are going to discuss about data frame in Pandas and how can we create a data frame and what are the several attributes which help us to do the programming functionality with data frame. So data frame in Pandas is two dimensional, size mutable, heterogeneous tabular data structured with labeled rows and columns that is access can be taught like a dictionary that it contains uh, the Python series objects. Now, df.me attribute and the descriptions which are listed here, that is df.columns, it lists the column name. If you use df.access, then list the raw labels in the column's name. Ndim, it returns the number dimension. Size, return the number of elements which are there. Shape, returns the tuple representing the dimensionality, that is the rows and columns. Values, the numpy representation of the data. Values which we have studied in series also. And dtypes, list the type of columns which are there. The other methods which are head and tail for displaying the first and last rows. Describe generates the descriptive stats for numerical columns only. Similarly, max and min value to fetch the maximum and minimum value from the numeric columns. Mean and median return the mean and median value of numeric column. STD is used for standard deviation. Sample returns the random sample for a data. And drop any drops all the record with the missing values. Missing values we will discuss in upcoming videos. Right now we will see that how can we create a data frame. So here, where we left with series, firstly, we are going to declare a variable df for data frame and pd dot data frame. So it is like dictionary, so we're enclosing with, with name, we're giving a series of name and similarly age as key, we will give the series of keys that is having the age. So firstly, we are giving here the name and then it is going to have pd dot series for the values of name. So as we are giving multiple values, we will enclose that within square brackets and it is having name Alice, Bob and Chris. These are the three names which it's having and then what we are going to do is we are going to give the age which are there for the particular ages which are there in it. So we have to enclose the series within the parenthesis also. So that is enclosed and next what we are going to give as the age. So next key which we have is age. And that is also going to have a pd dot series and we have to give the ages here. So I'm giving the ages here 21, 25 and 23. Next what we're going to do, we're going to print this particular data frame that is df and let us firstly execute this. So here you can see that it returns me the name and the age which we have given indexing that 0, 1, 2 with the name of the respective ages. Now if you want to check the particular size which we have studied here in there is a particular df.size it returns the number of elements. So you can just simply write here df.size now here you can see the size returns to us is 6 along with the print of the data frame it returns as 6 because there are in total 6 values. Similarly you can also check the uh, shape that tuples representing it so for that you have to write df.shape as you used to write in series also. So df.shape. So here it is returning the df.shape there is 3 comma 2 that means there are 3 rows and there are two columns. Next we are going to see that if I want to add a new column then how can I do that? Right now I am having just name and age. Now if I want to add a new column then how can I do it? So this is print.df and next what I am going to do here, let me do it in a new cell only. I have to write here df and then I have to write the new column which I want to add. For example I want to add a height column also. And then I have to give the values that I will give in series only. And I have to mention the heights. 
so 5.2 6.0 and 5.6 and when you print again this particular df then here you can see a new column is added along with the name and age that is height next we want to read csv file of particular data and then implement certain functions so here in the tutorial you can see that we have mentioned the link of a csv file and you can download it from here and then we will per perform certain operations on that so after you download this particular csv file it will be stored and the name of that file is salaries so salaries.csv file will be stored so df dot we have to read the salaries and now we want to display a few records first so we know that we use the head function for it df dot head and if i don't mention any particular attribute here that how many display i want to do for two records or three records if i leave it empty this particular parenthesis then it will by default read the first five records so these are the first five records from that particular csv file that is salaries dot csv that is having rank discipline phd service sex and salary so these are the element and if i give here the particular number which i want to read then it will display you the total seven records that is indexing from zero next if you want to list the types of all the column that what are the particular types of column then you have to write df dot d types which we have studied also while we are discussing about the functions so df dot d types So it prints you the rank an object discipline is also an object phd is integer and similarly the service is integer sex is an object salary is an integer so overall the type is an object type next if we want to list the columns that what are the columns then how can we do that we have to simply write df dot columns and it will give you that the columns are rank discipline phd service sex salary and all are object type next if you want to list the row labels and the column names for that we use the function df dot access so it is giving you that the range index starts from 0 and stops at 78 that means there are total 78 starting from 0 it's step of 1 and index also it returns that is for the row names and the columns now for number of dimensions if you want to check then we use the end dim so df dot end dim so it returns that it is two dimensions next if we want to check the total number of elements in this data frame so simply we use the size function that is 486 are the total elements which are there for number of rows and columns we use the shape so that is df dot shape that is there are 78 rows and six column in total starting with the, all the entries and rows and these are the six columns which are there next if we want to fetch the output basic stats for the numeric columns then we use describe so let us write df dot describe here you can see that the basic stats that is count mean standard deviation minimum 25 percent 50 percent 75 percent and the maximum is return for the numeric columns which are there in this particular csv file those are phd service and the salary so we can use the describe method for the basic stats of numeric column you can also calculate the average of column for first 50 rows so how can you calculate the average for that you have to simply write df dot head for 50 first columns you want to calculate let's say 50 dot mean so here you can see for the first 50 columns of numeric phd service and salary this is the mean value or you can say the average value which is written the type is float because it is of decimal points value next we will discuss about grouping and filtering with the help of data frame in our upcoming video.